Hello everyone. Good morning and good evening to all. Our today's topic is for the common interview questions for purchase requisition in SAP MM S4 HANA system. This is Rajiv, SAP MM S4 HANA trainer and welcome you all to our YouTube channel SAP MM Rajiv. And today we are going to discuss and explore the common interview questions for purchase requisitions in SAP MM S4 HANA. So what is a purchase requisition? So friends, you can understand this with the fact that this is a kind of, you know, internal request made by different people who are working in an organization. They are in need of, you know, different types of materials to run a business, to run an organization. And they will going to need all these materials or services, which they will going to convert them into our end product. Okay. For an example, we will going to take an example of manufacturing of a pencil. So there will be a need of wood, there will be need of graphite, and there will be need of different colors to make and manufacture pencils. So the different teams, especially the planning team who is responsible to manufacture pencils in their shop floor, in their production department, they will going to create purchase requisition to purchase woods, graphites, and colors from different suppliers who are going to, you know, these suppliers will going to give them the required materials at a defined a delivery date in the purchase requisition. And the important fact about purchase requisition is that it is an internal document. It is never sent to the supplier. Okay. In fact, in SAP, there is no any functionality or facility to, to send purchase requisition to the supplier because this is not an order. This is just an internal request, which is being processed by the, by the purchasing department. And these people who are sitting in the purchasing department will going to convert this purchase requisition into a purchase order. And as I said that it is an internal document, so it can be changed. It can be even deleted. It can be, you know, rescheduled with reference to the different delivery dates as per the convenience and requirement of the business. So this can be, you know, changed as in when there is a need. Number two, the question number two, what is the document category of purchase requisition? So document category of purchase requisition is B. Let us quickly jump on to our SAP system in the table. This is the table for purchase requisition. I'm just going to hit enter key and you will be able to see the document category field and the document category for purchase requisition is B. Let us select this purchase requisition B and we're going to check that how many purchase requisitions are there available in this particular S4 HANA server. If, if you can see where I'm moving my cursor, this is S4 HANA server. And let's see, there are 895 purchase requisitions and let us display, execute this report, execute this table, that is IBAN, and you will be able to see 895 purchase requisitions over here. Let us select any one of the purchase requisition over here, control C, and we'll going to display this purchase requisition and this is ending with 52 over here, 52. Just a moment. Four double zero five two. Four double zero five two. And now you can see this particular purchase requisition can be displayed over here. It is having the details with reference to the quantity, the delivery date, material group, purchase group, requisitioner, everything is there. Okay. Now coming on to our next question, what are what are the tables in which the purchase requisition information is stored? Is stored. So the table is IBAN. Let's do one thing. Let us copy this purchase requisition and we'll enter the details into this table IBAN. Four zero four double zero five two. Execute this, and you will be able to see all the details. That is document type. The category is B. As I said earlier, the document category is B for purchase requisition. This is the purchase group. This is the user ID who is who has created MRP controller. Changed on seventh of Feb two thousand twenty three. Short text of the material. Plant is 
one SAI, this is the material group, and this is the quantity request, requested 70 kg. The same quantity we had displayed in the purchase requisition. This is the delivery date, 7th of Feb. And we can have a look the similar kind of information while displaying the purchase requisition in SAP MMS for HANA system. So this is quantity 70, and the required delivery date is 9th of February. Okay. And this is the request date, actually. This is the creation date of the purchase requisition. Okay. Let us move on to the next uh, question. We are done with, with question three. Just a moment. This is question number four. What are the transition codes to create purchase requisition in SAP MMS for HANA? So, tra so transition codes are absolutely the same. There is no any difference at all. The same transitions we, we are using from last so many years in ECC. These are ME51N to create, ME52N to change, and to display it is ME53N. The last question, what are the factors which are impacted by the document type of purchase requisition? So what is the document type for purchase requisition? The document type of purchase requisition is NB, right? And we can have a look in the configuration part. Let me just open up the configuration from the very beginning. SPRO, SCP reference IMG, materials management, then purchasing. And under purchasing, we will going to select purchase requisition. And then click on define document types. And here we will going to search the document type as NB. NB. You can see the details that is the control of number inch interval. Then this is number inch. This is item item number inch interval that is 10, 20, 20, 30, 40, which I had already explained in my earlier lecture. This 10, 20, 30 is used to provide the item number interval with reference to the number of materials available in the requisition. For example, if I'm going to add one more item into this requisition, system will going to give the item number interval as 20 for this second line item. Similarly, 30 for third, 40 for fourth, okay? Now, these two columns are for number range internal and number range external. So this is the, this is zero one is the group and this is linked with the number range interval. So zero one is linked with this number range, 40051 and and this will go up to 40200. And this is the current number is appearing. Okay. Let us close this screen. And similarly, the number range external. This is VN. VN is a group, and VN VN also contains a number range interval from two, from I mean from number to two number. And this is this will not going to show you any status because in external number range we cannot check what is the status going on. The user can give the number range as per their convenience by following this interval number sequence. Okay. And this is the field sequence, this field selection key, which controls the fields, which we want to, you know, make it as optional, make it as required entries, make it, make it as display. So we will be able to learn for this NBB uh, just after this particular session. And, these are the list of allowed item categories. These are standard item categories with which we can create the different types of purchase requisitions as per the need from the business side or as per the business requirement. Let us come back now and we will explore the controls of the different fields, how this can be done with this field selection NBB. Now let us come back and we're going to execute this part that is define a screen layout at document level. So let us select NBB, hit enter, select this, go to details. Here you can see different fields are maintained as required entries, couple of fields such as item category, store location, account assignment category, purchasing group is maintained as mandatory, but these fields are maintained as optional. If you are not inputting you know, any entries, then system will going to you know allow you to create the purchase requisition. Similarly, for this one, just click on this black arrow, order unit, 
quantity is mandatory, unit of measure is mandatory. Let us move on to the next screen. Requisition date, delivery date, and the release date. These are all mandatory fields. Okay, friends. So this is how we can, you know, uh, uh, maintain the control on different fields in a purchase requisition transaction. Okay, friends. So, so this was all about the common interview questions for purchase requisition. This was the second purchasing document we have covered today. And my next video will going to talk about the third purchasing documents that is purchase order. And purchase order is an external document which we always send to the supplier so that they can get the confirmation that what exactly is needed and in how much quantity and what price is maintained in the purchase order. So stay tuned. I would like to request all of you to please uh, like and subscribe my channel and please share uh, these videos with your friends as well who want to build who want to you know transform their career their existing career from a different domain into sap mm consulting career thank you very much for your time and attention we will going to meet soon with the new topic of third purchasing document that is purchase order bye bye for now thank you